Hey guys, welcome back. We're now moving into the new client or client number two setup. In the previous video, we completed the haircut and the proctor had given instructions for us to move forward with our second setup. You were told to remove all items from the haircut, which also included the towel in the working area and sanitize your hands. Place your gloves on and disinfect for the setup. So here I have removed my towel and everything from the haircut. I have sanitized my hands. I have placed my gloves on and I am now going to use my Barbicide wipe to disinfect. So here you see the Barbicide wipe. I'm going to slide my towel that live in the area for the universal supplies. I'm going to wipe that area down and disinfect it. As you see here, throw away the barbicide wipe. And what are we doing next? Sliding that towel right back over. And that leaves that free space for my new towel that will be placed in the area where we will be working from. So I'm going to repeat this process, disinfecting the area that I'm going to be working from, or my work area. I'm going to throw away my barbicide wipe, remove my gloves, sanitize my hands, and begin to remove contents from my bag number two or my chemical bag that you see here. So first things first, I'm going to lay down my new towel in the area I'm going to be working in or my working area. Nice clean towel. And then, as I said, proceed to lay out the items for the second portion of my practical exam. First thing you're going to see here is you're going to see my towels two for double draping and my plastic or processing cape. I'm actually using a kitty cape, as you can see here, because it does fit the neck of the mannequin a lot snugger. So there we go there. And as you see, I am not draping my mannequin. I'm just setting up. This is just the 15 minute setup number two. And then once again, you see the items here that I'm laying out. My simulated waving solution. And there the bottle is labeled and it will be filled with water. Here's my foils. And my cotton coil for my chemical waving or permanent waving, whichever you would prefer to refer to it as. My rods. And as you see, my rods are already unsnapped. So you want to make sure you unsnap them as you're setting up your bag number two or preparing your bag number two before the exam. You only have 15 minutes for this setup. So you want to make sure that everything is ready to go because it will not allow you time to unsnap your rods. So you want to make sure that you have that done prior to. Some other items that we're laying out. So here you are with your end wraps for your chemical waving or permanent waving. Also have your simulated 
colored chemicals. And at the end of the video, I will show you what the entire layout should look like. The red is going to be another simulated chemical. And that is going to be your protective cream. So that is just cholesterol with no food coloring. The only items that should be colored or have colored cholesterol will be your simulated chemicals, which will be your relaxer, your lightener, your hair color product for your color retouch and your predisposition. That is gonna be your skin cleanser and then your base for your relaxer. So skin cleanser, as you see, it's the containers labeled skin cleanser and that's just gonna be hand sanitizer. So we use that to simulate cleansing an area or the area for your predisposition 24 hour or also referred to as your patch test. So you're gonna use that to prepare that area. So you would just remove the contents from the container labeled skin cleanser, apply it to the back of the ear, dry it, and then place your simulated hair color product behind the earlobe. You also have your gloves. I would recommend probably about five or six, not five or six, I would say six pairs, maybe even seven, just in the event that you drop anything. There's also my applicator brushes. I would also recommend extras in case you drop. And what do we do when we drop? Any items or anything. We stop, pick the item up, place it in its designated bag, sanitize your hands, and then continue on. Time does not stop for you or they don't wait for you. There's your foiling cone as well as a styling cone. Foiling cone would be used for what? Yes, your lightener. Yes, good job. And there's a remainder. We're setting out other things as well. Your clips, super duper important. Make sure that your clips are plastic duckbill clips, the smooth plastic duckbill clips. We are simulating chemical applications, so we will not be using or any of the aluminum duckbill clips. We also will not be using any clips that have teeth. So like the alligator clips, your butterfly clips, you cannot use those in this portion of the examination. They have to be the plastic smooth duckbill clips. Super important. And then there's our water bottle, spray bottle. And then the Q-tips that you're actually removing your simulated skin cleanser with. So here we are. Everything is laid out. Sanitize your hands and wait for the proctor to give you further instructions. Hey viewers, need a kit for your Virginia, North Carolina, or Georgia practical exam? Check out my site. As always, thank you for watching. Chemical waving video coming up next.